Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, I hope you're well. Um, so this is just going to be a very quick video today um, and I just want to give you an update. So there's something that I'm going to be doing which I'm very sad to see to see go and that is I'm selling my entire Hasselblad system. Now the reason why is, um, one, is because of the weight. But the main reason is I found out when I looked over my scan results that I had done last July, my, my MRI scans, um, I thought I just had a bulging disc and that was going to recover, or that is going to recover over time. But I've also got um, disc degeneration that I didn't realise. I've, I've just read over the notes the other day and that has uh, made me make the hard decision to sell my Hasselblad H, H series, all my lenders, I'll just zoom you out a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'm selling my H4D, I'm selling my 150mm here, I'm selling my 28mm, I love I love all these lenses and I've kept them, and I'm selling my 35-90 to 90, uh, that I picked up last August, and this is the camera I picked up in, um, in March last year. So um, the reason why is, yeah, I need to be very, very careful with my back, and um, yeah, I can't... Um, take my back for granted you know um and last year you know not being able to walk and being in the wheelchair and and also i go i'm still having ongoing pain right now and um but i still want to do my photography i still want to get out i still want to do videos i still want to explore and meet up and do things and i think if i were to keep the hasselblad system i th i think i'd probably you know this is all just a, a guesswork really with my back but I don't want to leave it up to chance, you know. I, I could do a number, a few more years of shooting another house blood, but then my back might get worse because this setup, as it is, weighs just over five kilograms. Um, but I've been looking into other systems, you know. I was looking to the Fuji GFX uh, uh, 50S. And I was thinking about I could get like um, I think it's like a uh, I was for the 34 to no 32 to 64. I was looking at getting that lens, and I was looking at getting the 100 to 400 but apparently that's a little bit soft. So what I thought I'd do um, is go back to a system that I know, and uh, so I'm going back to Canon uh, full-frame cameras. Um, now I know their lenses, I know the cameras, I know the functionality, I know everything about them, I know a great deal about them If than going to another system that I'd have to learn from scratch, and if I have any problems, and I've got to, you know, that's gonna cost me time. Especially if I have a problem out in the field and I don't know how to fix it, and it could be a very simple solution. So what I'm going back to is I'm going back to a DSLR system. So I'm going to go with a 5D Mark IV. Uh, this is a Canon 60. I bought this uh, last year um, on an auction um, for about $450, I think it was. So really nice, nice, nice cheap camera. And this is going to be my backup. I've replaced the uh, display on or the uh, the screen on here. The the um, plastic cover, I think I've replaced it with glass, um, yeah, so I'm going to be using this now, um, the Hasselblad system won't get used at all, um, and I also picked up a lens for the 6D, um, or for my new setup, um, this is the 24-105 f 3.5 to 5.6. Now the reason why I went for the variable aperture one is this actually suffers less uh, from chromatic aberration and is actually sharper than the f4 lens. Now the reason why you pay so much more for the f4 version is you're paying for that aperture. Um, the glass in these are still really good um, and you're paying less because it, or you're paying less because of the uh, variable aperture. But um, yeah, this is actually sold currently. I've uh, got a friend who's going to pick it up from me next month in March. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to help him with that. And um, I'm going to be there if he needs needs me, you know, if he has any problems or if he has any questions. Or, you know, I'll be able to educate him as well on the system because it's quite a different system to full frame or mirrorless, you know. Um, yeah, and, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be good for him. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what he does with it. So it's gonna be nice to see that, um, yeah. But anyway, I'm digressing. Um, so yeah, this is a remarkable lens. Um, I took some test shots in the garden yesterday just to see how it performs, and it's a, and it really performs quite nicely. Um, very, very sharp, even at 5.6, at the longer and the wide uh, focal length. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really nice for some of my shots. 
and um, it's really nice and lightweight. Um, it does have a nice little lock right here. Um, why does my focus keep changing? Um, yeah, my focus keeps going to the background. I'm hoping it's not uh, shifting out of focus on me. Um, so yeah, and it's got IS as well. It's got a closer focusing distance. It's still got the metal mount, which is great. It's got 77 mil filter thread, which is great. So I can use the um, one um, adapter ring as well for both lenses because I'm going to be buying myself a uh, 100 to 400 f4 LIS uh, two. Um, that lens is um, has got really good reviews. Everyone says it's how sharp it is. It's probably one of the best uh, Canon uh, zoom lenses there are. Um, so yeah, going with that, that's going to cost me, I think it's about $2,000, $2,400 uh, for a really good one. So I'm not sure if I'm going to buy locally or from America or from B&H. Um, so I'm still undecided about that one yet. But um, it's something I've got to buy in the next couple of months before I go down south in my uh, for one of my trips uh, where I need a longer lens because this uh, 24 to 105 just won't cut it. Um, but yeah, the weight of it, the weight difference is so so different. Um, like these three lenses here from the from the 24 from the 28 to the 150, um, that weighs about I think it's uh, about three and a half kilos. Um, or f just over three kilos, um, where this zoom will cover most of that focal length for me already, so it's it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, the 100 to 400 will be really great when I want to pick out uh, details within the scene, um, when I want to pick off things off right, right from the distance, you know, mountain peaks and everything. Um, and this is going to be a system that I'm going to have for a number of years. You know, it's not something I want to upgrade. I'm sick of going through cameras. You know. Um, buying cameras, selling cameras, I just want to stick with a system that I'm going to use for a number of years um, and then maybe get something else, I don't know, I I honestly don't have, there's nothing that's catching my eye that I'm going, oh I really love that, I really want to own that, you know it doesn't, I don't get that feeling out of gear anymore, um, you know I pick, I, I love shooting on uh, the M50 right here, you know I'm recording on a second M50 over here for the video, um, I love shooting on that. I love shooting on my Leica film camera. I, um, also, this lens will work on my Canon 3000N film camera, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, and I've got filters and everything. Um, yeah, um, and I can also go medium format film, so that's uh, um, so what I'm losing here. You know, it just allows me to have a bit more like diversity. And um, yeah, I might even buy a, another 5D4 if I see one come up in the future. And get that as a third camera body, you know. Um, yeah, pick them up while they're cheap, and um, yeah, so I'm gonna buy myself a brand new 5D4. Um, the reason being is I'll know the history of it, you know, I'll know what it's gone through, I know um, the elements it's been shooting in, and I'll know the care of it, you know, it's gonna be a brand new system. I'm a little bit worried about buying a second hand 5D4, mainly because it's getting old now and it could go for a few hands. Um, so yeah, I'd much rather buy a brand new one. Um, and if it's got any problems, I'll buy an Australia own. Um, so I've got the five year five year warranty as well. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's me. So I'm gonna have two lenses. Um, this is so this and this with the 100 400 is gonna buy about two and a half kilos. Um, I will be keeping my 24 my 11 to 24 mil lens. Um, yeah. So this is gonna be used primarily for when I do like um, Astro, um, when I need something where it's ultra wide angle. So I was trying to sell it, but I'm not going to do it now. It's um, not worth it. And it's going to be so really, really quite nice for me. And it doesn't weigh that much. And all up with all three lenses, uh, when I get it, and with the 5D4, I'm looking at about three and a half kilos. So I'll be much happier with that. And if I don't need that lens, uh, the um, 11 to 24, it weigh, and that will save uh, about a one. one I think it's 1100 grams. So yeah, that's gonna be good. So yeah, from here on out, we're gonna be shooting on the uh, Canon and uh, saying bye bye to my much loved Hasselblad system. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to make a quick little video on that and uh, let you know why uh, I'll be using this in the field from here on out. But anyway, I'll um, let you be and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, bye for now.